Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to look at the relational and logical operators in Java. So relational operators are uh, deals with the relationship between operands. So if, uh, if let us look at the relational operators that we have. So we have the equality operator, we have the not equal operator, we have greater than, we have less than, greater or equal, less than or equal. So these are the relational operators that you can find. And the output of all of these relational operators is always a boolean. So it will either be true or false. So most of the time we use these relational operators when we write selection structures and we use the if statements. Okay, and also uh, sometimes when we have uh, looping uh, conditions, then say while or for something, so then we use this as a looping condition. We use these operators. Uh, so uh, equality. Equal and not equal, these works with say I write a equal b. So if a and b are equal, then it will give return true, otherwise false. So they work in the normal way as uh, their uh, regular meaning. So greater than, greater or equal to, less than, less than equal to. Okay, and any type in Java that is integers, integers. then uh, floating point floating point numbers characters then booleans all of these can be used with these uh, relational operators okay and uh, so these are the relational operators next we have the logical operators among the logical operators, you have AND, OR, XOR, and NOT. So they work again, they work in the normal way that uh, these operators work. So AND will work if both are true, only then the result would be true. If here for OR, okay, if any one is true, the result is true for x or the two values must be different should be false and true or true and false then the result would be true and for not of course it's a unary operator so if it is true if the operand is true then the result would be false so i can write like this a and b a or b a x or b and not of a or not of b okay so here a and b must be what should be the type of a and b a and b should be of boolean type so the type of a and b must be boolean okay so these are the logical operators now in addition to these you also have the shorthand notations that is the shorthand that is with the assignment so you can have and assign or assign okay xor assign not assign so these are the shorthand operations so these are uh, they work at, in the same way so it as it performs an assignment so a Say I write and assign B. So what does this mean? It means A is assigned A and B. These two statements are equivalent. So these are the shortened ones. Now along with these you also have these are called some other operators which are also called the short circuit logical operators. Short circuit 
logical operators. So what are these operators? These operators are these uh, and and that is this or okay so mm, you have here normally what happens in a in in a regular and and or operator suppose i have a here b here and i have a and b a or b okay so this can be true false false true 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 false false so a and b so for this to be true both must be true so this is false this is false this is true this is false and for a uh, a or b anyone if one is true okay so t this is true this is true this is true and this is false so here if you see if i write a and b or a or b if you notice for and if the first operand is true if the first operand is true the result is true i don't need to check the second operand okay and in case of uh, oh, sorry this is uh, i am talking about the or oper or operator in case of uh, the and operator if the first operand is a false if the first operand is false okay then the result is definitely false i don't even have to check the second operator b okay so the short circuit logical operators they make use of this particular property that means i will not check the second operand okay if i use the logical uh, short circuit logical operators in that case if the first one for uh, and if the first one is false first expression or first operand evaluates to false then i'm not going to check the second one i'm not going to sec check this or this i know the result would be false okay only if the first one is true then i will check the second one all right so if i write a and then b all right so this is the short circuit logical operator for and uh, so in that case if i find so i have a and b so if i find a this is true 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 false false true false false if i have then the it works as exactly as same if the and so this is true this is false this is false this is false okay so here for, we will look at only a so if the first one is false if the first one is false then the result is false we will not evaluate the second expression okay the same goes for a or b so this is your uh, or so again here in case of or say okay false 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 true true false true true okay so this is false this is true this is true this is true so here if i find the first one is first if a is true then i know the result would be true so i will not check the evaluate the second expression so it works in this manner so if i have just a single operand a and b it doesn't make much of a difference you will not be able to see the uh, the how it works but suppose i have something like this okay a is not equal to 0 this is one expression which will evaluate to true or false this is a logical uh, um, this is a, a relational operator not equal to i use and 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 say num okay or n divided by d 
is greater than 10. So, this is also another expression. Okay. So, this will evaluate to true or false. This will evaluate to true or false. Okay. So, since I am using this uh, short circuit N, so it will only evaluate if it finds that A not a is not equal to 0 okay if it finds that this is false then only it will go and evaluate this okay otherwise it will not if it but if it finds that this is true the first expression is true then it will it will evaluate n slash d so this is these two other short circuit operators now most of the time we use these operators only when we are talking about AND and OR, we use these operators, the short circuit ones, okay, because they are more efficient. So, uh, that these are the short circuit operators or short circuit logical operators. So, we have seen uh, our logical operators and our relational operators that we can use with Boolean expressions.